Hey guys, it's fashion time. Welcome to This Week in Nintendo News. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I had so much Zelda news and Nintendo related news that I decided to cut out the Nintendo stories and create a completely separate video for those ones. Now I don't know if this is going to be a weekly thing, it may be that I'll just continue bundling the Nintendo news with the Zelda news, but let me know in the comments whether you think it should be its own separate video, uh, or if I should combine those in the future if time allows. Uh, so let's get to that first Nintendo news story. Our first story comes from Nintendo themselves who have said uh, something that we kind of always wondered if this is where the game industry was going to go, but Nintendo seems so obstinate uh, that they didn't want to do something like this, but it looks like now they've sort of gone ahead and accepted reality, which is video games should be digital going forward. Um, so they've now said that they will continue releasing physical copies for most of their games, but that they're going to now release digital versions of all of their major games. So if you don't want to have to go to the store to pick up your next Zelda game, or Mario game, or Kirby game, all you'll have to do now is download it. Now just to clarify, they're not saying that they're, they will only be releasing just digital copies. They're saying for the time being, they'll be doing both digital and uh, physical for each of their releases. So if you're one of those people that needs to go out and purchase that physical copy of a game and hold it in your hands, uh, you can still do so, don't worry. But the environmentalist in me says it's a kind of a great thing that we're finally venturing down that digital primary road, so that way it will cut down on a lot of excess uh, production that isn't really necessary. Um, and this also helps Nintendo out quite a bit. So it, it actually costs a lot to create all of those discs and packaging and shipping them out and all of that stuff. So the more people that buy digital, the less it is expensive for Nintendo, maybe the less expensive the game itself will be. Our next story comes from Walmart. Um, they decided, for whatever reason, to go ahead and list the Wii U at $350. Now this price doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because Nintendo themselves have said that they learned from their mistake with the pricing, original pricing of the 3DS. They know that their consoles can't be that expensive, so that's why the rumor has been going around that it's probably going to be $250. Um, that makes a whole lot more sense to me than $350. $350 would possibly kill the Wii U. Uh, I mean, I would probably still buy it at 350 but I don't think most people out there would, so... Now, we could easily just sort of dismiss this as, oh, you know, Walmart's just making random guesses, we don't know how much it's going to be. Uh, but to compound matters, Google, for whatever reason, decided to go ahead and also list it at 350 using Walmart's exact same uh, um, listing. So. Again, that can simply be a matter of Google assuming that Walmart's got it right and Walmart just making it up. I really don't think that it's going to be 350 I mean, Nintendo themselves have made it crystal clear that they understand that the issue with the pricing, the original price for the 3DS, made it so that people were not going to buy it. As awesome as the 3DS was, they were not going to purchase it at uh, 250 um, so will they purchase a Wii U at 350 I don't think most people would. I might, uh, especially because there will be a Zelda game on it and I will need to play that Zelda game so Nintendo could price the Wii U at 500 and I would still save up and buy it. Uh, but most people are not going to do that and that's how Nintendo makes their money is from a lot of people purchasing their products. So they're going to have to price it at something much more reasonable than 350. Uh, so I'm just going to go out there and say Walmart's wrong. It's not going to be 350. It's probably going to be that rumored 250 that we heard about a few months ago. Feel free to quote me on that. Speaking of the 3DS, our next bit of Nintendo news comes from Nintendo themselves, who said, uh, in case you have been dying for a midnight purple 3DS, now you can purchase one on May 20th. Um, not exactly my preferred color of choice, uh, 
but I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who are very excited to get a Midnight Purple 3DS, and uh, now you can on May 20th. And then just another reminder, you definitely are going to want to check out templequest.com. It's a Zelda-related, Zelda-influenced, uh, web-based um, scavenger hunt, treasure hunt, full of a lot of very tricky riddles, tricky puzzles, um, a lot of fun. I might have had a little something to do with creating it, so that might be why I'm pushing it. But uh, even if I weren't, I would still uh, advise you to play this because it's awesome and you'll enjoy it. So that's it for this week in Nintendo News. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a regular uh, series here. We'll just have to wait and see how much Nintendo news there is next week. See you guys. Bye.